Hello, my friends. Welcome to lesson three, the grab and release lesson on the robot trainer. And so in your software, uh, whether you're asking this from the website or within the software itself in the EV3 Classroom app, we're going to go to Robot Trainer and we're going to scroll down here. We've completed moves and turns. We have completed objects and obstacles. And now we're going to be working on the grab and release, creating and building a motorized tool, which we know is very important to robotics and being efficient with our machines. And so for this lesson, all you're going to need is your LEGO EV3 Mindstorms kit. Mine already has the attachment built onto the robot, which we're going to get to here in, in, the, in the very next step. Um, and you're going to need the software to do the coding. And so there's no extra external thing that you'll need besides the kit and the software. Obviously, your thinking caps, but that's about it. So in this particular lesson, what we're going to be focused on is taking a look here at some objectives. Some of this is understanding how to use a media motor, how to create an attachment, because a lot of things that we see in the world around us, and this is one of the discussions we're going to have in the Slack channel, is robotics. A single purpose type robotic with a motorized tool, in this case this grab and release attachment. We think about factories, we think about assembly lines, we think about warehouses, uh, we think about sports equipment on the fields and cameras and there's just so many things in which we see a robot with a motorized tool for a specific purpose starting to explore that um, and also looking at robots that have multi-purpose maybe they have several attachments or one attachment does very many uh, diverse things and so we're going to start off here having that conversation then we're going to build the attachment and then we're going to explore it so this is an awesome lesson this is one that i really like because we're, we're going to continue to build upon the ultrasonic sensor we've been using and then getting into some design thinking with this grab and release. And so in your classroom, thinking about how you can incorporate your NGSS standards or some of your STEM activities um, with a concept like this. If you're first Lego League, you're going to need to think and explore and understand how to create motorized tools to grab and retrieve or to press or to lift. And so this is going to get you a good start in understanding kind of how to write some of that code and how to think about some of those building principles um, for this unit. So I'm really excited when you are ready, go ahead and dive into the first part, 3.1, where we're going to talk about and discuss the idea of motorized tools on our robots. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.